はい、千秋、I read you loud and clear。向井さん、よく聞こえます。ドクター向井、I can hear you very well。こんにちは。ハロー、ドクター古川。古川さん、ありがとう。皆さん、Thank you very much, ドクター古川。I think you can hear the claps of everyone here at the Tsukuba Space Center. We have a lot of people who are involved in health activity. Ten organizations actually, and everyone are very much looking forward to hearing hear from you. They are very much interested in your activity and your health promotion activity in space. And they have a lot of questions to ask. Now we would like to start with the first group. They are from Arakawa Fall Prevention Exercise Group. Again, they are the Arakawa Fall Prevention Exercise Group. I am one of the leaders of Arakawa Fall Prevention Exercise Group. I am Takahashi. In our area, we are promoting、uh, the leaders to、uh, ex promote the fall prevention exercise. And we are getting results from our activity. Now, I would like to ask you this question. Do you have bone fractures happen in space? And are there any differences in healing of bone fractures or any other conditions about bone, such as process of aging? Thank you very much. That's a wonderful activity. As you know, in space,、uh, we do not have great gravity, so our bones、uh, deteriorate. But what's good about the space is that we do not need to walk. So if we just、uh, push the wall, we can just move around. But、uh, in order to prevent weakening of bones, we do exercise like push up.、Uh, Uh, using barbells or squats, and in those activities, we may、uh, tend to have injuries. And,、uh, I actually have never heard of anyone who had fracture in space, so、uh, to be frank, I do not know what would be the healing with the bones. But when I think about the condition of recovery of fracture,、uh, the fractured bone h a v e to be in right. The position and the blood flow has to be right, and no force is applied、uh, that those uh, bones uh, do not go apart. So, when you think about the, in space, we do not need to walk, so you can、uh, be still. So, we may have、uh, advantage there, but、uh, we also have to think, think about the cells that develop、um, bones and also、uh, destroy. s So, that kind of very detailed genetic、uh, level research would be needed. Thank you very much.、Uh, now, our、uh, next、uh, question, please. Good evening. I am from Ushiku City Active Exercise Promoter, Emiko Sasaki.、Um, probably this is the silliest、uh, question. That I'm going to ask today, I would like to ask about the disease under stress. So I would think that your life there is、uh, in very confined space and,、uh, and you're living in zero gravity. So、uh, I would assume that you would be under stress. So、um, how do you manage your stress? If you could share with us your experience, that would be very helpful. Thank you. Well, that's not true. This is not a silly question at all. It's a very good question.、Uh, in reality, in space station, it is like、uh, you are in, you're camping out with、uh, your best colleagues, so we are not too much under stress. However, if I may say, Exercising or discuss having good talk with your colleague and look out from the window and see the earth and take pictures and listen to music. So, those are what I do. 
if I feel stressed. Uh, thank you very much for a good question. Now we have uh, Mayor of Ichihara, uh, sorry, Mayor of Tsukuba, Mr. Uh, Mr. Ichihara, Mayor of Tsukuba, Tsukuba City, and I'm also representative of Tsukuba Ikik Exercise Class. And as a mayor, uh, I'm very happy that uh, Dr. Furukawa is doing so well. We are very proud of your activity, and especially space development and uh, scientific uh, results, and also very precious experience of Dr. Furukawa would be utilized in the future. So I hold a very high expectation of your work. So my question is, uh, as a strategy to take action for aging society, the health of elderly is very important. And so in order to make a good society where elderly can live healthily, I wonder uh, how your activities or experiments would be uh, Utilizing our activity uh, in, in on Earth. Uh, thank you very much for your wonderful questions. I would like to explain from two perspectives. One is, uh, if I take one example, uh, right next to here, about three meters away from the camera, I ha we have uh, protein growth. Uh, crystal growth uh, experiments, and this is good environment to uh, grow crystal. And this is a uh, protein that is supposed to cure uh, cancer, and uh, our colleague is going to go back to Earth with that result. And by analyzing uh, the result, we would be able to see the three-dimensional uh, structure of the protein. So uh, this is going to be a very effective way to develop a new medicine. So that's one way to uh, contribute to uh, make the life on Earth uh, better. And the second is uh, utilizing our own body as a subject of experiment, for example. Uh, taking medicine for uh, osteoporosis in preventive manner, so we are subject to ourselves, so that the such a result will be utilized and, and would be the preparation for the time when everyone, anyone can go to this place. Thank you very much for a good uh, question. Thank you very much. Uh, next uh, question, please. Good evening, Dr. Furukawa. I am, we are from Kawasaki and uh, from Kewakai, and we have various departments in the, our, uh, our hospital, like the orthopedics and also dentists. And uh, we heard that uh, there are similarities to aging of bones and influences that happen in space. And what do you think is important to keep yourself from aging physically? Anything about your meals, supplements, uh, training, or mental things? Well, probably I should learn from you, but uh, if I may, I would like to share what we are doing. And uh, we, regarding meals, we uh, try to have good balance and try to take as uh, much, uh, much possible vegetables and uh, fish. And uh, in space, vitamin D is very important. In, on the ground, vitamin D is activated when you're exposed to the sun, but that is difficult in this uh, environment, and that is why we take uh, more vitamin D. And we do exercise every day. And uh, we try to make it uh, not so monotonous to so try to do things differently every day. And also we try to uh, numerical uh, target, uh, like how many ta times you could do squats. And by looking at the variation, you see that you're improving. Thank you very much for your question. Thank you very much. Next question, please. I am from Preventive Medicine for Elderly Association. I am Masayoshi Honda, and uh, we are the group that uh, promotes 
the preventive uh, measures. And I am in charge of oral care, so I would like to ask about the swallowing. And on the ground, we have gravity to support us when we swallow. So without the support of gravity in space, do you have difficulty swallowing down food in space? And also, do you feel any changes when you went up to space for the first time compared to now? such as uh, choking or difference in swallowing down food. Well, thank you very much for a very good medical question. Regarding swallowing, actually it is much smoother compared to what I had expected. Probably that's because of the liquid content. When water exists as it is, it becomes globe. But when it is attached to some surface, it spreads, just like uh, that uh, case uh, when you have saliva, the food spreads. So when the food is together with fluid, a liquid, it's, it goes very uh, smoothly. So swallowing is not so difficult, but uh, when you take medicine, and if you do that, if you take medicine with a little water, it may sometimes be difficult. So it's uh, actually fairly smooth. The swallowing is fairly smooth. And regarding the change of body, uh, the body fluid shifted upwards. So I was uh, had a headache and a moon face uh, at the very beginning, but uh, I got, got uh, quite accustomed to the uh, life here, and so I do not feel so heavy at all. And I think that the, my moon face uh, has improved a little bit, I think. I I'm from Tatebayashi. I'm from KU Fracture Prevention Medicine Center. And as a person who looks at the safety of the local community, uh, we do activity to promote uh, health in the area, and I'm Kura Mochi Masai. So my question is, it is difficult to walk when you feel the pain in your knees and back, and I would think it's difficult to develop your bones with walking in space. Do you have any advice to develop your bones without walking? Thank you very much for the question. So you're from the same area as Dr. Mukai is from. And to be frank, it's rather difficult to strengthen your bones without walking. So some, in one way or the other, you have to stimulate your muscle. So when you have pain in knees or backs, it has to be, you have to continue moving, even if it is in a small manner. And even in space, we try to continue our exercise. Uh, with uh, less load compared to usual. Thank you very much. Next question, please. Uh, good evening, Dr. Furukawa. I am from Adjury Locomotive Syndrome Research Center. We are the group of uh, orthopedics, and uh, we focus on the importance of uh, exercise for elderly people. We hold very uh, lectures and so on. So my question, is uh, since lower legs get weaker slowly because of aging and loss of exercise, it's hard to feel the moderate deterioration of ourselves. So they, that progress very slow, slowly. Uh, but uh, in your case, do you feel any differences with the loss of bone mass and muscles that takes place so dramatically in case of uh, space? Yes, uh, it is scary that uh, you lose your muscle and bone mass without realizing. Uh, in our case, uh, we are exercising. We do not feel that we are losing our mass, muscle, and we are using our exercise machine and 
squatting and raising barbells, and so we are maintaining or actually increasing the muscle. But the one thing that's important, I think, is the numer to look at numbers, numerical, how many times you push up and what's the weight. By, so by keeping a record numerically, it would be if becomes more easy to recognize uh, the loss of muscles or bone mass. Thank you very much for the question. Uh, we are of UNDA Sendai Miyagi. I am Kamiya. Uh, my question is, it is easy to get deep thromboflebitis in space compared to uh, being in space. Do you train yourself for soleus venous thrombus? And how does the milking action of beans change in zero gravity? And any actions to prevent that? Uh, very uh, medical question, and uh, thank you very much. And I believe that a lot of people have difficulty in their disaster uh, hit area. And in space, uh, actually, fortunately, uh, the, we do not have so much of, uh, of, we are not sure whether we get the deep thrombophibitis in space uh, because we do not sit still and the blood the flow gets uh, worse, if so it doesn't happen. So we do not do any exercise uh, for that purpose. And regarding milk, King, uh, the venous uh, blood comes back to the, uh, the heart, so that movement takes place very simil similar on ground. So the zero gravity environment is working positive way, actually. But thank you very much for a very uh, scientific question. Thank you. I am from uh, you are. I believe from Yokohama, and I am from Yokohama uh, Health Promotion Activity Group, and I am Hideo Matsuzawa. My question is, I've watched an astronaut eating Japanese food. I've heard that the strength, strength of muscles can get uh, so much lower in space. And do you feel any changes in the power of chewing? Or do you feel any tex change of texture of, of food? <laughs> Thank you very much from my local town. Well, I don't think that the chewing uh, power changes because the strength or the frequency of the chewing uh, muscle does not change compared to the earth. And regarding the texture, I personally do not feel any changes. And even if I talk with my colleague, uh, there may be some change in the taste, like people tend to like spicy food more on space, and many other people say that they do not feel any change in taste either or texture either. But thank you very much for the good question. So this is going to be the last team. We are from Chuo Gakuen Welfare and Medicine College. My, na my name is Toda. So my question is, if you are disabled and bedridden in the future, which would you choose, to live in space or here on Earth? And what, what's the reason for that? Well, that's an ultimate question. Well, my answer to that is I prefer to live on Earth. The space is zero gravity. I don't need to walk. But in this uh, current environment, it is like camping out, so you have to take care of yourself. Well, if you are to have welfare or the care facility in space, it might be a very good place to live. But uh, currently, I prefer to live on Earth because I would like to feel the forest or ocean around. So that would be the wonderful thing about the Earth. But the view from the space is also very wonderful. So it would be uh, very great if I can have both. 
of the 3D view of the Earth and then live on ground. Well, Dr. Furukawa, your answers were really enjoyable answers. And thank you very much. And here with us are a lot of people who are working in healthcare and elderly care areas. So would you like to send a message to them? はい、えっと、先生なんですが、申し上げさせていただきます。え、皆様ならこう、年配の方々が、well, Japanese society more lively and wonderful, which I think is very important. And I hope that uh, more people would have um, high con consciousness about the importance of health. And your experience is a treasure for us. So I hope that uh, you will share, communicate with the younger generation as well, and give guidance to the the younger generation too. Thank you very much for this opportunity to communicate with you. This concludes the event. This is Mission Control Houston, and we have rejoined the uh, team here at the flight control room. This was taped earlier. You were watching Furukawa as he was talking with uh, some folks that uh, deal with elderly health care in Japan. You heard that uh, Furukawa is enjoying his time on board the International Space Station, but he does miss walking here on Earth. He does have three more months on board the International Space Station. Here we are inside the International Space Station flight control room. The Expedition 28 crew is on board the station. They are preparing uh, for the departure of three of their members, and the remaining three will become the crew of the Expedition 29. And those three crew members will be Mike Fossum, Sergei Volkov, and Satoshi Furukawa. Returning home on Thursday will be Andre Borisenko, Ron Guerin, and Alexander Samakutiev. The International Space Station at this time is 211 nautical miles, 200.